Welcome back, darling. Now, I bet you're feeling a little lighter today, ain't you? <laughs> oh, I bet you're happier than a puppy not on a catfish. Had to have that little old curse lifted, ain't you? Well, rest assured, all that bad voodoo is indeed gone. Yep, like gravy at Sunday dinner. In fact, uh, just to make sure, what I'm fixing to do first today is just peer down there into your soul once again, get a little look-see, uh, just to verify that we didn't miss a spot or two. Is that okay with you? Well, all right. I'm just going to move in real close here just for a tip, okay? Uh, just to assess the situation, just like we did before. You remember. Okay, so just sit still for me. Kind of stare straight ahead. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look up. Good. Look to the left. Good. And right. Good. Okay. Look up in my hair. Good, looking good. You're doing great. Okay. Good. Good. Look up for me. Very good. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Okay, you're doing great, honey. Just keep staring. I know it's bright. Just really want to make sure we got it all. Gotta be real thorough. Really look down into that soul. that way. There you go. Good job. Good sugar. Uh, look up and to the other side now. Great. Thank you. Very good. Okie dokie. Alrighty. It's looking great. Slap me with bread and call me a sandwich. You're cured. Yep. You clean as a whistle. Congratulations, honey. Now, Dumplin', remember yesterday how I said there's one final step before we can stick a fork in this whole process and call it done? Yeah, well, see. We may have rid you of that one particular patch of bad energy, but 
who's to say you don't leave here, step off my porch, and walk into another patch of the stuff? If not then, then in a day, maybe a week? Truth be told, a bout with bad luck is inevitable and unavoidable by any of us. Just a part of life's grand design. But you can limit it, even fend it off completely for a while, just in order to give you some breathing room, you know, to get life's things done in peace. So that's where this final step comes in. Just think of it as sort of a temporary repellent to bad luck. Now, what I have in front of me are all five of the items revealed unto us by the Conjurer's Guide to Southern Charms. Okay? And additionally, each of the items is paired with its very own sacred charm bag. These are also known as root bags or conjure hands if you're feeling fancy. <laughs> so, now I will proceed to gently place each item in its corresponding sacred bag. Okay? So let's go in order from the first First up, V for Beware, Soft Grip, Locking Kitchen Tongs. This is a very delicate process, so I'm going to have to go kind of slow with it. your bag. Gently place this inside of its charm bag, like so. It's okay if it's sticking out a little bit. And, and um, in addition to the bag, I'm also going to go ahead and include some pretty, um, pretty packs. Oh yes, it's part of the part of the process. Sacred charm bags in a row. <laughs> and now they're all nicely packaged in their charm bags. What I'm gonna do next is perform a little old invocation. You've seen me do that before, but this one's a little different. 
basically I'm kind of casting a quick little spell <laughs> on each of these bags. And um, that serves to basically just give them the best chance of reaching their target destination. Okay. So, here we go. <clears throat> No, my I'm blue, da ba dee, da ba da, da ba dee, da ba do, ah, dee 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 da, dee dee do, dee dee da, dee dee do do do, dee da da da, chim chimney, chim chim. to do it. <clears throat> okay, alright. So, finally, I'm just writing down the address of where I'm going to need you to deliver each one of these sacred bags, and then, what's that? Oh, darling, there's no need to get all riled up, but Beg your pardon? Honey, are you suggesting that I... <laughs> oh... Silly Miss Miracle. Oh, darling, I guess I've just been doing this miracle work for so long that I've forgotten what it might look like to a more discerning eye. These gifts aren't for me, sugar. And they certainly aren't for my family either. As you've seen, they're spoiled enough as it is. No, sugar. These gifts are your last step of the process. Service, honey. There's a shelter not too far from here. I wrote the address down for you. And... These gifts are meant to be delivered there. there 
there's this holiday wish list that gets posted on the community bulletin board there at the shelter. And on it are the items that are desired by some of the kind and deserving folks living there. And I have a hunch that you'll find that some of these gifts match some of the items listed. Funny how the book knew that. Darling, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Yes, honey, service. If there's one thing that'll keep bad luck at bay, it's that. Well, there you have it. Your last step of the process. What's that? your heart, sugar. Don't you worry about that little old misunderstanding. Miss Miracle understands, okay? Alright, good. Well, here we are at the end. I must say, sugar, it's been a pleasure working with you. And as much as it pains me to say it, I sure hope I don't see you back in here anytime soon. For your sake. Okay, Pumpkin. Well, you better get a move on. You're gonna put some smiles on some faces with them gifts. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, um, and one more thing. If you see my Cody out there climbing on the roof, would you tell him to get his tail back inside? His beanie weenies are getting cold. Appreciate ya. Alright. Bye-bye, sugar. Just start extracting, just using my hand.